Temperatures are only in the 40s. So yeah, it's that time of year and it's a coming. But it's not coming until tomorrow. Tonight, WKBW Radio's 1968 version of H.G. Wells' War of the Worlds will again be the subject of a documentary airing at the historic Aurora Theater at 7 p.m. The screening will be hosted by veteran broadcaster, producer Bob Kuszynski, our guest this morning. Congratulations, because you've updated everything, and it's going to be a great night. Uh, it's going to be a fantastic night. Thanks so much for having me on the show. I've always been a big fan, big fan of you. <coughs> and uh, <laughs> actually, I grew, up, I grew up watching Linda. Yeah. But uh, no, WKBW Radio's War of the Worlds, The Legacy Continues. That's the new title. Yep. Uh, we did this last year to honor the 50th anniversary. Uh, tonight is actually the 81st anniversary of the Orson Welles famous radio broadcast. And tomorrow night will be the 51st anniversary of WKBW's. We've got Sandy Beach and Pat Feldbach going to be there live at the Aurora Theater mm -hmm. uh, afterwards for Q&A. The documentary runs about 54 minutes, mm -hmm. and it tells you the inside story of how Jefferson K at WKBW Radio created really the most famous radio broadcast in Buffalo history. And I understand that he was concerned he might lose his job over He thought that there was such a reaction that night, he thought he was going to get fired the next morning. He, he basically wrote a resignation letter wow. and slipped it under the general manager's door. Wow. Now, and after that, you have some Hall of Fame broadcasters there for a live Q&A. Yeah, Sandy Beach, who is still, you know, he's a legend, Hall of Famer. Uh, he's on WBN radio, but he'll be there tonight. He was in the broadcast War of the Worlds. Sandy is a huge uh, proponent of basically uh, remembering some of the great broadcasts. He'll be there with Pat Felbaugh, who's a Radio Production Hall of Famer. And they'll be there with myself to take some questions. The Aurora fun. Theater is a gorgeous theater yes. on Main Street in East Aurora. Tickets are only $7. You can buy them online, theaurorotheater.com, or pay at the door. But it's going to be a great night. It great is, way to usher is. in Halloween. I've known Bob over 30 years. When I first met Bob, he was talking about the War of the Worlds. And now it's interesting because you were really right about all this because the Buffalo version of the War of the Worlds is considered to be the second most famous yeah. radio version right behind the original 1938 Orson Welles version. It was somewhat of a secret, a Buffalo-only story. When the Internet came into being basically in the 90s, when it started to be posted online and people started to share the broadcast, it really began to grow. It's been, it's been mentioned in uh, national television documentaries, coffee table books. Uh, it's really a story that just never goes away, and it's a fantastic broadcast. And if you want to know how it was done and the after effects, come to the documentary tonight. And don't you even have uh, Bill Fickner? I mean, you have a lot of people who are... Actor William uh, yeah, Fickner, who's a great guy. Documentary. Bill Fickner grew up, he heard War of the Worlds, he's in the documentary. Nick Bakai, who is a famous Hollywood producer, sure. and he's now a producer on the show Mom, he's in the documentary. He was a big fan of KB Radio. He played uh, the voice of the cat. He was the cat in, uh, in Samantha, Sabri I think. Sabrina. Or Sabrina. Right. Sabrina, Sabrina, yeah. Sabrina, yeah. yeah. He's, he's very, very talented. So are there st uh, tickets still available tonight? Oh, there's plenty of tickets. The theater holds almost 700 people. So it's a great uh, theater. Try the popcorn. It's awesome. Oh, they've got fantastic popcorn. They do. They do. That's just a great theater. So tickets for WKBW Radio's War of the Worlds, The Legacy Continues, are only $7, and they're available at the Aurora Theater Dot com. So if you want to get them ahead of time and not wait in line when you get there, uh, you can go and do that. So go and have a great time. Bobby Kaczynski, it's just great to have you back in studio. Only my mom calls me Bobby. Thanks so much. You're you made welcome. me feel young. Just it's been great to be here. Feels right, you know. All right, we'll take a break. We'll be right back. <laughs>